is the fights we he's doing it for real he's doing it for real he's not they're not just getting them tv exposure to get a 40 second knockout yeah you're we're seeing if you can fight we're seeing how you handle these pro styles and i i like seeing that uh my guy friend of the program jeremiah milton's on here i think jeremiah milton's gonna be in some great fights i think jeremiah milton's also uh one of the best interviews in the sport you should get him on your platform he's great and someone that I really, really like, Abdullah Mason. Abdullah Mason feels like this guy that's coming at lightweight pause. Um, I'm excited about Abdullah as well. He's a very exciting fighter. Was he 17, 18 years old? Very young. I think the thing we're learning about young fighters is we need, like I said on the show, if you don't have that power component, very hard for a young fighter to keep a man off of them. If there's not power abdullah is showing the power so it's exciting because he's got the boxing skills and he appears to have the power i don't think this applies to like abdullah or xander or anything but i there a couple of months ago i watched a movie called lenny cook have you seen lenny cook no but give us the the biopic info so without being too much of a spoiler lenny cook was a, a basketball player in new york and he was considered at the time like the best high school player in the country and that was in a similar time as lebron james and carmelo anthony and all these other guys and essentially you know everybody was hyping him up like yo you're gonna get drafted da, 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 and then nobody drafted him and he was like this teenage kid who had been pumped up to be this thing. And then everybody kind of just left him hanging a little bit. And he had his own, his own issues that kind of factored into that. My point being, I think one of the lessons that got learned in basketball a little while ago was like, sometimes even if the talent's there, like some of these guys just are not mature enough or have enough life experience to handle the life of a professional athlete. And the more common it becomes for 16, 17, 18 year old kids to be pros in America. You know, sometimes I'm just, I, I, I worry about that, that sometimes we're putting these kids in over their head. Um, well, I worry for Xander. I worry for Xander and Xander's the success story right now, right, but I'm exactly. worried about when Xander has a hard fight and half of the boxing world says, See, we told you his defense wasn't all that good. Or see, we told you we knew he wasn't that. And it's like he's they already nice started player. doing it last last weekend. You know what I'm saying? Because he took a couple of shots from a good fighter. It was like, oh, you see, he, there's already holes in his game or whatever, you know. And he's doing everything we're asking a young person to do. He's being a good role model. He's working his butt off. He's he's great with the fans. He is like a 30 year old man in a 19 year old body with a, a enormous pressure of a country behind him. And also to try to help secure a better life for his whole family. And I think that people just view these fighters, especially that are children that are really young. They don't view the humanity to it. They don't care about that. And it's like, for me, I worry about the Xanders. I worry about the Abdullah Masons because these are young kids who are extremely talented, but, Young kids can have young kid moments where they need to get sent to the room and put on timeout. But in boxing, we don't afford them that. We just want to dispose of them. Well, and I feel like if you look at it too, like we're talking, we were talking about Robesi, like these guys that have longer amateur careers, you know what I'm saying, that are able to mature as people and as fighters in that amateur setting for longer. You know, they're able to fast track themselves as professionals. They don't have to have 25 fights as a prospect. They can have 10 fights. And we're already talking about Robesi fighting for a title, you know, because he and and he's only 20. What is he? 27, 28. It's not like he's an old man, but he's just set himself up. So I know there's cases where, there, you know, some of these guys are exceptional. Somebody like Canelo Alvarez or Manny Pacquiao, you know, some of these guys are just exceptional, but as it becomes more common and and look, I know a lot of times it's like, well, what's my option? Not make money, you know? And I get that that's a reality too. I'm just talking purely athletically. I think the development works better if you go pro generally speaking at like 22, 23. When I think also as more people turn pro young, there's going to be more stories of failure than success, you know, because it's going to, it's going to be, there's going to be one person that makes it and four people that don't. And the thing that I worry about is those ones that don't make it. It's going to be a very sad story. Because... Or not, not even necessarily failure, but I think about even somebody like a good example, I think would be Fernando Vargas, where 
great career, but I feel like the hard fights he had in his early 20s kind of limited what he could do after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're looking at longevity and all of that, that's just something I'm I'm looking at. Let's get into something that both you and me hate. Um, a YouTuber named KSI is doing a DAZN pay-per-view. He's fighting two fighters. He's fighting a journeyman boxer and a guy that I think just picked up boxing recently in some way. I have no interest in any aspect of this card. I've enjoyed the creator clash. But to put this on DAZN pay-per-view... 